hi, 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 and welcome, and welcome, hi. So, um, I just got done parking my car, and got out of the car, and realized something. Um, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna have to probably get new tires, or actually, probably switch my tires around, because that's ridiculous. Holy shit. Can you guys say no tread at all? Look at that. Oh my lord. There's like nothing there. Oh, that is hilarious. And then you go further down and it just gets to nothing. How is that possible that fast? That was Christmas. I just got those put on on Christmas Day. How is that possible? And then you look at these ones back here. And these ones still got quite a bit of meat on there. So I'm going to swap them around. Um, yeah, I've heard that these are kind of shitty tires to run. And not really the right ones for my rims because... Um, as I keep repeating myself thousands of times, I don't like stretching out my tires because of that. Holy crap. There's like no tread at all. Oh, man. Here, you're okay. So this does got just a smidgen of tread left. Okay, so hold on. Let's go to this side, shall we? Look at this shit. It looks like... I'm running drag tires <laughs> on my car. Holy crap. That has zero tread on this side. Zero tread. There is no tread at all. All the way, <laughs> all the way around this motherfucker. Holy shit. That is the first <laughs> time I've ever seen my tires get that bad. <laughs> there is no tread. Nothing. Nothing there. Except for on that side, you can see there's tread but <laughs> there's nothing here holy shit that is crazy that is nuts <laughs> i'm sorry i just got a kick out of that so i thought everybody else would so like my uh memes i've been making of my car you know like uh paul walker dies from his and blah 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 well <laughs> i think mine's gonna tell me hey motherfucker you ready to die <laughs> Oh my Christ, that is crazy. But the back ones, they have tread, like crazy tread. Like almost my whole f tip of my finger goes all the way in there. So that that's good. I'll just switch them out. But yeah, I definitely got to get some new tires and the right tires for these type of rims. So I'm definitely going to be saving up some cash and uh, <laughs> getting some new tires. Oh my God. The from back here, it looks like I'm just running drag tires in the front. That is just ridiculous <laughs> how there's no tread on this one at all. Zero tread. Holy shit. And then, of course, over here, you just got a <laughs> very little bit of it left <laughs> on the driver's side. That is crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely got to get some new tires now. Great. I was warned. I was told not to go with those type of tires and get them stretched like that. Hey, like I said, um, I learned from my mistakes. <laughs> so it's all good. Um, so now I know what type of tires I really need. I'm not going to go with the stretch tires anymore because in the, I've never wanted to do that in the first place anyways. I did not want to go stretch. But I was excited for my rims and the two spacers that I had on this side and one spacer on that side cracked so I really needed to put those on and not run spacers anymore um, I didn't want to get into an accident or have the tire come off so that was the reason why I got those tires for cheap ass down in Escanaba drove down there I got those they were like a hundred bucks I think it was for all of them I think that's what it was and uh i put them on so i needed tires but i can definitely definitely say that everybody was right i mean i wasn't doubting anybody i mean i kind of figured that was going to happen um 
I watch a lot of videos on YouTube, especially when it comes to cars. So I know that the stretching tires is a bad idea, but there's a lot of people that do it. So, you know, fancy them, whatever. If you want to do that, that's your, that's your car, you know, but this is my car and yeah, I don't like stretch tires. I don't like that at all. Oh, and I got to fix that old exhaust uh, exit. I got to fix that. So, um, I'm going to probably fiberglass it or might just get a new bumper. I don't know. I found one on eBay for dirt cheap. So I might just get a new bumper and uh, something that has the fog lights in it and stuff. Which, quite honestly, I don't need them because my light bar is down there. So I got to replace the, replace the bumper or at least fix the bumper with fiberglass and hardener. So and then in here, oh, my door is locked on that side. And here, give you guys a quick update since I got my phone going and I'm just blabbing on. Uh, the center or the gauges, um, I'm going to actually build my own thing back here where that's all covered up. These are going to be uh, removed. So the wiring harness and the dashboard is going to be no longer. Um, I know the wires for my turn signals and the other important stuff that I need. So, um, all that's going to be gone and I'm going to get my own gauges, which is going to be one big old one right here. That's going to be the speed. And then right here would be my, uh, fuel. And then right here would be my RPMs and then little led lights, one here and one here for my blinkers. And then of course the check engine lights will be certain colors of led bulbs. So when one comes on, it will tell me what's wrong, blah, blah, blah. So that's good. And then I got my water up here and my voltage here. My boost will be there. And then my oil and air, I think, or I don't know yet. And then, of course, I'm going to replace this and redo that too. So kind of give you guys a quick update. But for now, I got the original piece in my buddy's truck. And we are, well, I am going to take it apart and put some LED blue strips in there so that way it can light it up because for some reason the lights don't brighten at all, especially the little LED bulbs that I got for the speedometer. Um, they're not bright enough and I can't see shit so I have to use put my phone right here. Yes, this is my little magnet. I put my phone right here. I turn it sideways and I turn on my light so I can see my dashboard. And it's getting really annoying sometimes because it's so bright. It actually reflects off the window at night. So it gets annoying. So I'm going to replace them with LED strips on the inside. So I'm going to take that apart sometime tonight. But uh, other than that, oh, and my boost gauge did come in. It's at the house. So I do have my boost gauge. That did come in, so I just got to put that in. And then look around for some turbo and then uh, see what else I can come up with for this car. I'm pretty much done with it technically. I mean, well, not technically. I still got quite a bit to do. But other than that, I do want to, uh, oh, I got to get my keys out of there. Oh, shit. Cause I park my car here because like I said my buddy only has one parking spot so I gotta park my car in another town so anyways um, I do want to sand it all down and get it all prepped up and uh, before I do any priming and everything else I'm going to be working on the wide body kit myself uh, I'm going to rebuild my body kit a different way I'm going to take these ones off. These are for a FRS or a BRZ or the 86. So I'm just going to remove those. Get rid of them. I mean, not get rid of them, but put them away. You know, just in case if I get a BRZ or FRS, I might put those on. I don't know. I don't know if I ever want to get one of those cars yet. I, I've, I'm debating on it. But right now, I love this car a lot. And this is my dream car. So, um I'm definitely going to take well, really well care of this one. And so far, I haven't had no issues with it. It's been running great since uh, I pulled the motor out three times and put it back in three times. And I still had no issues. So it's running a lot better since the last time I pulled it out because I actually took it, everything apart and cleaned it. So it's definitely running a lot better. So the wide body kit's going to be removed. And when I get my new tires onto the new rims, 
then I'll go ahead and start making my shape on how I want it on the front and back and then get side skirts I'm going to end up making myself and do it that way so that way I'm not spending like two three hundred to four hundred dollars on side skirts and it's like ridiculous and you can just basically make your own DIY buddy DIY if you don't know what I mean then we're not homies no I'm just playing anyways that's about it for today so I will see you guys fuck I don't know some other day because <laughs> uh, like I said I don't really have nothing like a lot to do except for putting those LED strips on the inside of the speedometer so I can have a little bit more light and it's going to be blue I'm excited and then uh, uh, I just got to save up money for new tires save up money for new gauges for the inside because I'm going to custom make that and of course all the LED strips that I got um, I still got to install in the car. I might do a video on that too sometime. But as of now, that's pretty much, pretty, pretty much, that's all I got to do for it for right now. Because, you know, I'm a broke bitch, you know. <laughs> I don't have no fucking money. So the money I make, uh, that's, it goes to, to groceries and, and bills and that's pretty much it. So um, I'll probably be back out. Probably when it gets a little bit warmer and a little bit nicer out. So this is going to probably be, probably be my last video for a while. Um, until <laughs> until summer. That's all I got to say. And that's uh, That could be until April or March or whatever. It, it's a long ways from now. So anyways, peace out everybody because I'm talking too much. No time is a game, so I just put it all my way I'm zombie but awake, I'm bigger than they do wait Can't wait, no time is a game, so I just put it all my way All I need is love, all I need is love 사랑을 갈구해, 랩으로 빡치는 건 나, 랩으로 얘기해 막 사는 걸 자랑을 하는 래퍼들 얘기는 no All I need is hope, all I need is hope